Hi, I'm Megan Sacco. I'm going to be interviewing some of the people that are involved in the movie tonight, The Green Monster. And right now I have Trevor Wright. Can you just tell us your involvement with the movie? Sure. I was the creator, the writer, and a producer on The Green Monster. It started as a short film back in 2002, um, a serious short film um, dealing with the problems we're having with teenage mothers throwing their babies in dumpsters. It started out as a serious film. Uh, Brian contacted me and wanted to expand into a full-length feature and that's when a lot of the crazier ideas came about so we, we had a, a blood mishap one day um, we were doing an effect where the one of the main characters gets their fingers blown off and they squirted the blood a little too far and it went all over the wall all over her face and uh, it was quite a mess and we had to clean that up pretty quickly before it stained what motivates you to think of these things do you have something special uh, well, you know, I like to sit in my underwear and eat Skittles and drink cream soda, so, um, you know, and that usually gets me going. Hi, so I'm here with Andrew Cordio. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. Can you tell us what uh, role you had in the movie? Um, I played Johnny in the film, one of the uh, bad guys, I guess you'd say, one of the guys you don't root for so much in the movie, and I don't know, we'll see. I'm excited to see it, see how I do. Yeah, uh, I play Roger. I'm a, a cokehead slash thug, and I, uh, I tear things up. I had a blast. Uh, despite the fact that I was uh, kind of sick through most of the filming, uh, it was a really fun experience. Yeah, you had like bronchitis or something, didn't you? Yeah, I, had, I had really bad bronchitis, and um, it didn't really affect my role at all, and you know, just tried to keep up with it as much as possible. And It was a really fun time. All the cast and crew were, were great and very helpful. And Nervous? You ready? Um, uh, ready as I'm gonna be. I'm not too nervous because, uh, you know, I, I think it did a pretty good job. So, how did you actually get involved with this film? Uh, well, I I uh, I was in a movie uh, called Only Go There at Night, shot in New Jersey. Okay. And uh, Nolan and Brian happened to be hired guns to direct and do the cinematography in that picture. And after I did the part, uh, uh, Nolan and Brian approached me. They said, you know, we just watched you do this thing. And uh, we have this script, which I don't know if you'd be interested in. It's pretty raw. Yes, said, send it to me. And, uh, and so they, they emailed me Trevor's script. And uh, I almost fell out of my chair. I thought, this is the role I've been waiting my whole life for. And uh, next thing I know, I got, I got cast as Gerald. Wonderful. So, um, can you do, can you just think of like one funny thing that may have happened on set? The whole thing is pretty funny. Okay. Well, I had my. I must admit, I, I've done I've done about sixteen movies. I had my I had my first nude scene in this movie. Yes, you did. You yes. did. yes, you did. I I I didn't want to do it at first. I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, is this justified? I mean, do do I need to show a nude scene and? And then Trevor spoke to me and said, it'll make this scene really disgusting and offensive if you do it nude. And I said, okay, you convinced me, I'll do it. So can you tell me a little bit about your wife on screen? My wife on screen, of course, your is what you mean. on screen, yes. She's on screen, yes. Yes, on screen. Oh, abso on screen. absolutely. Yes. Colleen Cohen. Yes. Now, she's my oh, favorite there, host. There she is. I'm Christopher Lee. She's Ingrid Pitt. Oh. We're the new couple in horror. Enough already. <laughs> All right. Hi, Colleen. It's enough. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, Swanee, you never let me say nothing. All right, I'm out of here. The producer back in. So, did you have fun with the Molly role? Oh, absolutely, because I'm very reserved and humble at heart, but Molly Meeks is, uh, is completely crazy and psychopathic, and uh, I hope I brought that out in the film. I have a dark side of me, so we'll see if that came out. Oh, a lot of fun, and the directing was great, the writing was great, and you couldn't ask for anything more. It's a great movie. I think the funniest part was when there was the gunshot scene and Colleen yelled fucking shit and that was probably the best thing ever because it wasn't meant to happen but it was perfect, like, it was the best. I will remember that for the rest of my life. <laughs> so, you guys had a lot of um, screen time together. <laughs> it's funny, I actually uh, had one day, I think, with, with the other girls and then every other day that I had on the shoot was just with, uh, with Bethany. <laughs> So, okay. No. <laughs> I'm kidding, 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 kidding. I remember we were filming a scene and we had to cut my black shirt and it was like my favorite shirt. And I didn't want to say anything and they were like snip, snip, snip. And I was like, oh no, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> and what was your involvement with the film? I wrote the music. I'm the composer. Okay. And when did you become involved with the film? 
I was in the middle of doing sculpture, and um, Pete Jackalone called me and said, uh, you know, Brian and Nolan are doing this thing called the Green Monster, and they've heard some clips that you did for sculpture, and they really want you to kind of give the Green Monster a shot. I got a, a first edit of it, and I, I did the first scene, the very first scene of the movie, and um, Nolan was just taken with it and said, okay, keep going. And so I just kept going and uh, wrote the whole score in my head in about a week and actually did the whole thing in about three. Oh, wow. So the whole thing was written in about three weeks and uh, struck me. Uh, it, it's one of those movies that hits you and then you just go with it and it's done. It writes itself almost. So it was easy? It was, well, it's never well, totally easy, easy but, but it came to me quickly. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, we're really looking forward to hearing your music. Thank you. Are you excited about the movie? So excited. Um, I played the role of Amanda. Can you just tell me just briefly about that role? Um, Amanda runs away and gets herself into some trouble and in the end she kind of <laughs> freaks out a little, does she, or is it, do you want to leave it as a surprise, suspense? I think it's better if you see it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, that's about it, and we're all looking forward to seeing the movie. Thank you very much, and enjoy the show.